Hello Oracle Database World, this is Justin and in this Oracle Database video YouTube tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an Oracle Database uh, log off trigger. Okay. Now, what is a trigger? Well, a trigger is an object in the Oracle Database which is a, a PLSQL procedure. PLSQL stands for Procedural Language slash um, Structured Query Language and PLSQL is Oracle's programming language. Okay, and it's a named block of code, not an anonymous. And basically what it is, is it's stored in the data dictionary and it a trigger fires or executes or runs, whatever you want to call it, every time a certain database action occurs. Okay, so, and there are all sorts of, of triggers, all different types of triggers. So a, a trigger and event could be some, um, insert, in data into a, insert in a row into a table or it could be executing a certain command, or it could be uh, lo shutting down the database, starting up the database, logging on the database, or logging off the database. Okay, And, in, and the only way to, to, to fire a trigger to execute the PLSQL procedure, the, the, the block of code that Oracle will execute, um, is the event. That's the only way to fire a trigger. There's no way to manually fire a trigger. Okay, um, so in summary, an, or, uh, an Oracle database trigger is a procedure of code which is executed every time a certain event occurs. And the event in the database. And the event in the, in the database that we want code to execute in this example is every time a user logs off, I want a certain event to occur. Okay, this is good for auditing. So, let's go ahead and set our Oracle SID to finance and let's ensure we're set, we are set properly. Oracle SID finance. Now we're going to connect by SQL Plus to our finance database. Do a show user. Show we're connected as SysDBA. Sys. We do select name from B dollar database, and we'll see we're connected as um, into database finance. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to create a table, and it's just a regular heap table, and it doesn't matter what you call the table. Create table log off table makes sense name var, var car 30 now I'm going to describe the structure of the log off underscore table table and you'll see log off underscore log off, log off underscore table table has one column called name with data type var car 230 now I'm going to create my log off trigger create trigger log off underscore trigger before log off on database begin insert into log off underscore table values a user has logged off commit end okay forward slash and uh, basically what this is saying is we're saying create trigger so we're creating a trigger object called log off underscore trigger and here's the special trigger action before log off on database and here's the code so basically what we're telling Oracle is before before someone logs off the database that is when someone tries to log off by issuing a quick command in SQL plus or terminating a connection execute this code okay the insert into log off underscore table values um, so in other words Every time a user, every time a user attempts to log off the database before the connection is actually severed, Oracle will recognize that someone's trying to log off and will automatically insert this row into the tape into this log off underscore table table. So we do a select asterisk from log off underscore table. We will see that there are no rows in it. I'm going to start up another window here. Set Oracle. Uh, well, first, let me show you the uh, trigger that we created. Select trigger name from DBA triggers. And the DBA underscore trigger data dictionary view in Oracle shows you all the triggers that are defined to the database. So select trigger underscore name from DBA underscore triggers, where trigger underscore name is equal to log off underscore trigger. And there it is, log off underscore trigger. So... I'm going to set my or my next my in my other window here. I'm going to set my Oracle SID to finance. Ensure I'm set properly, and I'm going to connect as user Justin. 
Justin. Justin123. Show user. So I'm connected to Oracle as user Justin. Now, when I select from the table, I see that there's nothing in it. Okay, because I just logged on. I didn't log off yet. Now I'm going to log off. I type in and quit. Just get out SQL Plus, which terminates the session to the database. Disconnected from Oracle. Now I'm going to select from the table. Now I have a row. A user has logged off. Now I'm going to show you with another user, user Minka. Show user, user Minka is connected to the database. Okay, select asterisk from log off underscore table, still one row from Justin. Now I'm going to type in quit to terminate the session to, the, to terminate this session from the database. Quit. Now I do select asterisk from log off underscore table. Now I have two rows. Okay? So it's a row for every user that logs for every time a user logs off of the database. Okay? So here's the first row for when user Justin logged off, and here's the second row in the table for when user Minka logged off. Okay? That's how you create a trigger to fire before any user logs off the system database.